Now this should be the last video for this first part of the series and what we'll do is if you notice if you go to download the project that I'll have the link available to the description that the thumbnail will look like this but the nice thing about it is that the project should open pretty quick because what you've seen before in the content browser has been drastically reduced. The map has changed and I have actually gone through and cleaned up a lot of stuff. So a lot of the asset packs that were in here are now gone. I've condensed a lot of things. I've rearranged the content folder so it's much more condensed and it's just not a whole bunch of extra stuff that's floating around and it, it makes the package that it makes the package project that much faster to load. Um, so it still works. Everything's still as normal as it was. Um, character is doing everything he's supposed to do. He aims and he has a different weapon on him. Uh, it's because I have actually branched off of this series and has, and will be ta and will be covering over different topics. So that way, in the main pro main series, we can focus a lot on the character mechanics, and then on other video playlists, we'll branch off and work on weapons on one, UI on another, um, and some other things like that, like pickups and and uh, in game interactions. Now, what we are going to need to do is I want to go over getting rid of the errors that are happening when playing an editor. Um, there are only a couple. Um, it looks like a bunch, but it's really not. Um, kind of strange these load errors came back up, but some odd reason I close this project down, these go away. Uh, but anyhow, let's worry about getting these playing editor um, errors gone. Uh, so it said access none for camera boom. So if you're having these problems, luckily we only have a few now, so we'll be able to catch these now early instead of them becoming like 3,000 as it plays and goes on. So if we can check, we can go to our branch. And what that'll do is it'll say it doesn't know exactly where this is coming from. Well, we can feed that in from it's coming from the camera boom, and we can actually set is a is valid node over here. So let's do an is valid. And we're going to need this node a few times to clean up these uh, play and editor errors that we're getting. So I'm going to connect that between the beginning here. So I'll copy this node for later. And what it will base what basically is happening is when it passes through here, it's going to say, "Is this camera boom even there? Is it active? If it's not, nothing's going to feed. If it is there, then this knows what it knows where the source of its inputs coming from." So let's compile and save this. And next we had a set owning pawn. So if we click on the set owning pawn, what's going on here is two different things. Is when it's actually giving the default weapons to our character, um, it's something's passing through here, but it doesn't really know exactly what it is at times when it goes to play, even though the actor is spawning. So to get rid of the error, let's just add two is valids in here. So we'll add one for the top. Feed that directly, feed the end of what's coming out of the spawn actor, the actor that's spawning, feed that to is valid. So if there's a weapon, it'll spawn. If not, it won't do anything. The same thing too with the bottom here. Uh, again, if you want to move those nodes around, just hold down control and click and drag and I'll allow you to unpin those. And I'll just feed that right down there to the bottom. So compile and save that. And now if we go to play it, run around the editor, now escape. Now I don't have any load errors. To make sure this is actually working, what we should do is I'm going to actually run this as a it, as a run dedicated server, but as one person, which it was, and it was working just fine. So while playing an editor, nothing's going on. Let's play it one more time and let's make sure our same thing works for when we shoot. So for aiming, shooting, let go, no errors. So we have no playing editor errors going on anymore. Um, so other than that, uh, that should wrap up this series. I apologize for the last few videos might have been a little vague. I'm getting everything uh, just kind of put, bundled up so that in the next videos we can start moving on to really getting our character to be a little bit more um, animatable in terms of weapon switching, getting different guns. And again, all those videos are going to be covered. I'm going to start providing a lot of these resources and files for people if you guys are looking for examples to look at or need things to work on and just see how kind of things are built. Um, so that's what's taking some time to actually get set up. Now, any suggestions or anything like that, feel free to uh, send a message my way. I'll be sure to read it and see what's going on. Um, but 
as the project gets populated, I'll include those assets on the project files on the main web page that I have them saved on. Hopefully they load for you guys and I'll uh, provide the links to them in the descriptions on the videos and you can also find the link to the main website on the channel header uh, on the main on the uh, main homepage bar. So uh, hopefully you guys found most of this useful. Uh, we'll roll the next part into uh, setting up our character in the next set of videos. So I'll see you guys soon.